Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today's video is all about florals and menswear. We discuss five ways to incorporate floral patterns into your wardrobe, as well as the do's and don'ts. Floral pattern fabrics have become increasingly popular lately, yet it can be difficult to pull them off because most people are too loud when they wear it. I really need to stock up on floral patterns for this video because traditionally it's not part of the men's style canon. Now, that doesn't mean that you should never wear florals because they can be incorporated into a classic wardrobe in a tasteful way, but it's not always easy. In general, floral patterns are very bold and so they were traditionally reserved for eccentric wallpapers or upholstery fabrics. You could find them in women's wear, but now they've made their way into men's wear as well. If you're into the latest trends, by all means, go and wear floral sneakers and bomber jackets. Now, you come to this channel, chances are you like classic things. And so today, we want to show you how you can incorporate floral patterns with a modern touch while still looking like a classy gentleman. First of all, don't wear floral patterns out of season because it is specifically something for spring and summer. The other winter, I saw a gentleman wearing a really flowery shirt on a pink background in the midst of winter and just looked entirely out of place. Second, do wear floral accessories throughout the year if they're subtle. Yes, this is an exception to number one, but as with any good rule, there's always an exception. Now, if you have floral patterns, they're very subtle. You can wear them maybe even in the winter, even though I still think they probably look better in the summer. A good example of a floral item that you can wear year round is a pocket square in my opinion, because it oftentimes comes in paisley patterns or playful patterns. It's not always easily discernible as a floral and because of that, you can incorporate it year round. Just look at this pocket square for example. I could probably incorporate it into a winter outfit despite its rather bold color. Three, don't pair florals with tweed because it just clashes historically and stylistically. Tweed is traditionally a country fabric that is rich in colors and patterns and as such it would clash with a floral pattern that is likewise very bold and vivid and comes in many different colors. Four, do wear just one or two floral patterns at the time. If it's a bolder pattern, it should be just one pattern. If you have a more subtle pattern, such as this tie, you can combine it with another more subtle pattern, such as a pocket square. Also. Don't mix a floral pattern with another bold pattern, such as a glen check or a strong rope stripe, because it's just over the top and the other person doesn't know where to look at first. Five, when in doubt, opt for smaller floral patterns because they're always more easy to combine in a harmonious way into your outfit than those big, bold patterns. Tiny florals can also be worn like a paisley or like polka dots. For example, this tie here is very neutral and it could be just like a summery paisley tie. I suggest you don't wear big floral patterns because otherwise you look more like a wallpaper. The only exceptions to those rules are likely swim trunks which are known for big orchid prints or for some people even Hawaii shirts. Now this brings us to our next point. What are the five best ways to wear floral patterns? Personally I think the easiest way is to wear it in a swim trunk. Because it's a very casual garment, you only wear it when it's warm outside, when it's summery, or you have thoughts of a tropical climate, then it's a perfect time to wear florals. It's definitely fun and playful, but at the same time, smaller floral patterns in your swim trunks are easier to pull off than those big, chunky, contrasty ones. The second easiest way to incorporate florals into a classic men's wardrobe is with a pocket square. Pocket squares are traditionally printed and so are most floral patterns. Also, pocket squares are often a little louder than their necktie counterparts and so people are in general more used to louder pocket squares and also to pattern pocket squares. And when you fold a pocket square, the floral print may not always be immediately discernible, which makes it very easy to wear. Also, you'll probably never find a suit jacket or a sport coat made out of a floral pattern, and so the pocket square will stand out in an elegant way. Also, it's a small enough of an accessory that it doesn't overwhelm the entire outfit. It merely creates a tasteful accent in your overall ensemble. The third easiest way to incorporate florals is by wearing socks. In recent years, crazy socks have become really popular and whether you should wear them in general or not is something we discuss in this video here. 
If you want to incorporate florals, socks are a good way. Again, if you keep smaller patterns, maybe on a darker ground such as navy, so you can wear it with navy pants, just like I'm doing it right now here. On the flip side, if you wear a really bold flowery sock, it's really difficult to combine with a classic men's wardrobe that makes you look more like a clown than a well-dressed gentleman. The fourth way to wear floral patterns is through ties. Neckties are a classic staple of a men's wardrobe, yet in recent years they've become increasingly unpopular. If you don't want to go with classic stripes or maybe checks, you can add a little casualness to your outfit by going with florals in your neckwear. Now that being said, most florals out there are really crazy, in my opinion, and so they don't lend themselves to a more neutral, office-appropriate outfit. On the other hand, if you go with something more subtle like this one here, in pastel tones with a small floral pattern, it's not even discernible as such from afar, and therefore office-appropriate for more casual office environments. Muted floral neckties are also okay for modern business casual events, but definitely do not wear them in a formal setting. Because they're a bolder pattern, even if the colors are muted, I suggest you keep the patterns low on a jacket. Ideally, you pair it with solid jackets or suits and maybe a very thin faint stripe in the shirt, but ideally with a solid as well because it makes it look more harmonious overall. Definitely stay clear of any striped suit or any other bold pattern on your jacket. Five, a really popular way to wear florals has been shirts. Personally, I think it's a little more difficult to pull that off properly, simply because it's a relatively large surface. Even though some people wear short sleeve shirts with floral prints, I suggest you stick with button-down shirts with long sleeve shirts because that's traditionally part of a classic men's wardrobe. If you take a pattern that's out there, at least stay with a classic cut. Also, if you want a floral shirt, I suggest you go with something that has a white or light blue background and little flowery items rather than an all over floral print shirt because that just looks a little weird with a navy blazer or a business suit. If you wear a floral shirt with smaller prints, stick to solid colored jackets or sport coats such as a navy blazer or more a pastel colored sport coat for summery outfits. For example, here I chose a light gray jacket with a light blue shirt, that way it's not such a bold combination, but it works all together because the tie also has these pastel tones. Of course, if you're traveling to Hawaii, a Hawaiian shirt is in order and that has short sleeves and that's okay. Maybe if you wanna to go to a theme party, that's okay as well. But in general, everyday life, a Hawaii shirt is probably not something a gentleman would wear. Now, if you like the idea of flowers, but you find the printed floral patterns over the top, think about a traditional boutonniere, which is a lapel flower that is worn through your lapel buttonhole. We've created extensive guides about the history of boutonnieres, how you should wear them, and we even have created a whole range of real looking silk boutonnieres that you can buy in our shop here. They will never wilt, they will always look stylish, and compliments are guaranteed to come your way. So in conclusion, if you want to add florals to your outfit, try to stick with small patterns in muted colors. You can wear them as part of a swim trunk, as a shirt, as a tie, as a pocket square, maybe a bow tie. Otherwise, stay clear of them. Some people also like them for socks, but you should definitely stay clear of things like floral shoes or jackets. If done right, meaning you just wear one or two floral patterns at the time, they can even be office appropriate. Also remember to always wear a floral pattern against a neutral, solid color. That way the overall look is more advantageous. In today's outfit, I of course incorporate more floral patterns than I normally would, simply because it's the subject of the video. It starts with a floral tie, which is a small pattern, nice lavender, green, and white tones. Because of that, I chose a light blue Oxford button-down shirt, which is a good base for it, combined with this light gray fresco sport coat. The pocket square is a hibiscus flowered print, and it is larger in scale, which is why I combined it with this tie. The next flower I have is my boutonniere, and I chose it in a light blue, and it's a delphinium, which is small. It picks up the blue tones of the shirt and therefore works together with the outfit, even though there are already a lot of floral patterns. 
For my slacks, I went with a pair of dark chinos because I already have a lot else going. That being said, my shoes are a dark olive green and so is my belt. They pick up green tones from the pocket square as well as from the tie and just work well together. They're not too flashy and more dark and let the floral patterns shine. Because this video is all about florals, I also wore floral socks, which is not something I would usually wear, but just for you, I did it. Normally, I would wear a pair of shadow striped socks, which you can find in our shop, but for today's video, I wore some floral socks to be on topic. 